Hi everyone, today I will be talking about microservice architecture and uh, in the coming videos I will be creating a, a simple project from scratch so that it will help you in understanding how how I mean how microservice uh, you know projects uh, look like. So if I talk about this slide, in we have so many components. So if you see from left to right, we have like client, we have oscillate, we have console, and then we have microservices. And each microservice is having its own DB. And we'll be using most probably MongoDB for now. And I'll explain what is this RabbitMQ. RabbitMQ is required when we want to you know communicate between the two microservices. So that's where we will use uh, RabbitMQ. Grafana we will be using for our you know just uh, just to visualize how our APIs are performing so for example if they just for a simple use case you can say if the your API, if, uh, API is you know bringing down because of some reason you know so at that time it will you know generate still some metrics right and uh, Prometheus will be you know will be triggering a event also I mean like alert that is nothing but which can send uh, you know email and those information or those metrics we can see in the uh, grafana in a very, very beautiful charts and console is basically you will take care of our you know all the port numbers all the endpoints of the microservice so whenever we you know create a microservice what it will do it will just register those uh, their address to the console so what will happen assume you are running one microservice on port 8080 and tomorrow if you change to 80 a2 your client doesn't you know need not to worry about they need not to you know say okay they need not to hard code that port number so that can be taken care of by console so console will take care of that complexity all right similarly we'll be using api gateway so it will take care of all the url so if you change anything you know to your client need not to worry about it all right so in the coming videos we'll develop each uh, i mean like we'll be developing everything from the scratch so we'll pick one one component from the beginning and uh, we'll try to cover everything uh, you know from scratch and this in this project we'll be doing uh, something related to portfolio manager so their user will be able to you know register themselves and they can after registering they can manage their portfolios i mean to say they can add stocks i mean delete stocks and all sorts of operation they can do it i mean i mean it's not a very high fi project but in the, just to give you a heads up about all the you know components we'll be touching all the lines all the components right so I mean, like, and as you will be like following along with me, you will be able to understand how to work on microservice. All right, thanks very much.